So, a little bit of a change of plans. I'm actually super excited for this. Uh, we're going to start a playthrough of one of my favorite games ever. Um, it's called We Happy Few. Uh, it's not new or anything like that. I just really love it, and I've played it so many times, but it's so fantastic, and every single time, the story just gets better and better. You, like, see new parts and stuff like that, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. But um, I hope you had a good day. I hope you've been having a good week. It's Friday, finally. Um, and yeah, so we can just get started. Uh, and just so that you know, I am going to be uploading uh, all of these uh, playthrough VODs for this game uh, to my YouTube channel, uh, just so we can have everything in one spot. So, but yeah, uh, hold on one second. Let me just open the game or start the game back up. It has the best everything. It has the best music. I, I just love it. Alright, let's see here. Okay, here we are. Yay! Alright. Um, let me... So, like I said, I'm going to start a whole new um, uh, file for it. So, Arthur is the main character. We're just going to do normal difficulty. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I have done... Uh, the most difficult uh, option. It's really hard. Even if you've played the game multiple times, it's a lot. So I don't want to do that because then I think I might miss being able to like show you guys parts of the story. So, but yeah, we'll do normal, and that way uh, you can see, you know, everything about it. So, but yeah, so we are good to begin. And if you can't hear it or anything like that, just let me know. Heavens no. <laughs> it's like a newspaper editor. That's his job. Take my joy, shouldn't I? No. So I have tried it before. If you say take the joy, it just ends right there. So I won't do that this time. Um, but yeah, so that basically just shuts the entire thing down. There is no option for your life if you just take the joy. So. Percy! Percy! I mean, Cody, he got it in. That's good, at least. Hi, Alistair. How are you? What have you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, nose to the grindstone. You know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a piñata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a mug on a drug. Well, come on then. Finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. So creepy. Uh -huh. So creepy. The power cell's that. empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. Go get a new one. 
Um, I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. Um, but I'm happy you could catch a stream. Usually I don't start this late, but, um, yeah, so usually I don't start this late, but, you know, stuff happens. So we got to take this and find a new one. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yes, over here. They make it real easy in the beginning <laughs> so that you don't have to, uh, get too lost, thankfully. What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. We're yes. gonna accept the document. One could read that without a ripple in one's teacup. How does she know? Well, it's... I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the pinata. Um. Wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Uh, let's see here. This one is mm. mine. So it's weird when she says that that article that he like freaked out about um, could be read and like no one would get like upset about it. Because that means she's not recognizing his own name. Like, which would be weird. So she clearly does not know what she's talking about. She's just not paying attention anymore. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that is all we do here. So you can go through and search all this stuff. You do not get to keep anything that you find here. So it's not um, super useful. Uh, hi, Senpai. How are you? So the. Do you um, think the canister wonders what life's like outside the <laughs> tube? Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. That's true. Um, the scenery and the surrounding stuff for this game is my favorite part. So. This is just like one of the sayings that they have. It's a uh, Wellington Wells is the name of the place that we live. Clive Earth Whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? Man, his like whole office is a crime scene. Jesus Christ. Sometimes forget just how uh, messy it is. Oh yeah, this is us. Clive fucking hates us. Like, so much. Um, so, he's not a fan of ours. Uh, but, that's okay. He doesn't have to be. Uh, but, yeah. So, this is, like, just some of the stuff that that there is as far as, like, decor and stuff is concerned. Um, this is, like... They have, like, lots of propaganda. Uh, wartime propaganda, specifically. Because, although they are not technically still in the war, that's kind of, like, the vibes... Uh, is this one open? Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, we are, uh, we are tripping bad. Not good, not good at all. Uh... Um, You're not coming back, are you, Prue? So Prudence went Where did you on go? leave. She didn't go on leave. But this is, uh... This is, this is how we see things when we're off our joy. Like... Obviously, this is spoiled, but if we were on our joy, it would look normal. Uh, this, obviously spoiled, but if we were on our joy, it would look normal. So. I did take him. No. No, leave me alone. I took my joy. I took my joy. No. no. Leave me alone. No. This is us seeing things how they really are. Well, oh, hi, Arthur. One of the doctors. That's what they're called. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. <laughs> so when you're in your joy, you don't notice details as much. Uh, so this is something that just doesn't bother anybody because no one is paying enough attention. Oh yeah, that's uh, Jack. 
Uncle, Uncle Jack, I believe is his name. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and all the hard work we do, this tube is broken. So, uh, all the hard work that we do ends up here in the trash. <laughs> it never even makes it anywhere. It's rough. Alright. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. It's rough. Go on, give it a big old oh, whack. Oh, God, I hate that they make you do smash this. Smash it. Okay. Go on, smash it, silly things off. Oh. And there's blood everywhere, because that's not a piñata. That's a rat. <gasps> yeah. Ugh. You are off your joy. Yes, I'm Take off my of drugs. Mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. <laughs> Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. <laughs> they don't like us anymore. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Probably a bad time. They do not like us anymore. Uh, <laughs> this is a um, a whole like cutscene thing, so you'll see it anyway. Ooh. Oh, oh, jeez. Smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget it, there's no time. They left me down there to die. So rude. Oh, do you like this game, Sentai? It's it's a good one. I really like it a lot. One of my favorites, actually. Happy is the country with no past. Fair. If you can't remember, it's not a problem, probably. It's gonna be so weird to start all over. <laughs> oh, you love it? Okay, great. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, Christ, I thought of those bosses chase me. Was pretty far, there bro. were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. You are not. I don't even think I'm still in the village. You are not. Oh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Nice. Uh, so, this is our first little bunker that we have. Um... You can collect different things, of course. You look through stuff. You gather uh, supplies, materials, what have you, uh, for crafting. Like, not at this very moment, but, you know, during the process of the game. Um, so that's pretty important that you do that. But, let's see here. You gotta search literally everywhere. Uh, money does actually have a, um, a purpose in this game, which is actually nice. No, I do not want that water. Prudence really did run off. Mm -hmm. She ran okay. this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. We got a couple things from there. Search this desk. Over here, I just saw something. Where is it? Mm, perhaps. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'll need some odds and bob. Mm -hmm, some bits of metal to make a lock pick. Yep. All right. So. 
we can read Prudence's diary. Um, she is one of the people that Arthur used to work with at the newspaper, and she ran off before he did. So this is her just like writing these letters and leaving them behind basically. So was this a mistake? It seemed so clever to disappear first rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they'd forget they'd ever known of Prudence Holmes. Beastly Clive would take my office and they'd forget anyone else was ever in it. We don't like Clive. No one likes Clive. Clive is the fucking worst. <laughs> uh, but now that I'm here, I wonder, should I have put my trust in Mr. Kite? And where are his bloody instructions? In the abandoned house, yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how to deal with all of these wastrels? My god, they look like something out of Dante. We chase someone out whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought about where they went. I knew we chased them out when joy made them sick, but I didn't know it was here to starve and weep and remember. I assumed they went to, they were sent to a sanitarium, uh, a decent hospital, but I suppose that's what I wanted to believe. We are all complicit. We know without knowing and don't want to remember, so we don't. My god, I can't wait to get to the mainland. Hello, how are you? Hi, Chaos. And yeah, the grabbing animation is so funny. Especially, like, later on in the game when you're grabbing things that are, like, not super casual. So it's, it's pretty funny. Um, yes, hi, Mouse. Yes, I settled on my favorite game. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, so these are different, like, random letters and stuff like that that we have from just, like, our travels or whatever. Um, this is one of the ones that Clive wrote. He's just the worst. Ugh. He's, like, trying to tattle on us, basically, saying that we are a downer, um, when in reality, at this point, we weren't a downer. Uh, Clive is just, like, a weirdo. He's just the worst. But I do like that, so basically, this is what Clive writes, so, Dear Director Bing, one of your employees is a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commissary telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly, and what's so scary about the truth? He is very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I am a naturally shy woman, and, like, Clive is not a shy woman, like, no. Clive is an asshole and pretending to be a shy office lady so that, you know, he's not outed. Um, but there was another one where I don't think we, I don't think we have it yet, but there's another one where he basically like, um, he asks if he can take our office while we're still in it, like, which is just the strangest thing. And so all of our bosses, this is uh, their response uh, to him. Uh, Dear Mr. Burtwistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I am afraid that it would be destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. That's us. Uh, fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face whether you have a window or not. Which which is fucking hilarious because it's literally just her being like, shut the fuck up and take your drugs. I don't want to talk to you. So that's, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. That's my favorite. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I... I know we're not supposed to like her, uh, but I think in this instance, at least, uh, there we go. Victoria Three years of the salamander and me getting into funny. constant trouble finally pay off. We can pick locks. Good for us. Here we go. What happened to him? Ooh. Or rather, who? Yeah, our dead buddy here. Oh no, worn out. I'm sorry to hear that chaos. So you search dead bodies for supplies and the like. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna take.
take all sorts. I'm going to take that in a second. Make sure I have everything else, though. Uh, pick that up. That's the, the pneumatic stash is where you can keep all of your supplies and stuff like that. And it travels with you. So you can switch between your pockets and this pneumatic stash, which, you know, can be accessed from any of the um, bunkers that we go to. So, very convenient. Alright, we got that, we got that. Oh god, empty syringe, it's so big though, it's gross. Alright, so you pick these up, these are memories, so. Rav, are they going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I I promise. But, but have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. So from when they were kids, uh, this... Um story is <laughs> like that the frowny face in the top shows up like you're carrying a dead body and people don't like that don't don't do that that's not good uh i can't just open i gotta do this i haven't played this game in a bit <laughs> i've played it many times but i haven't played it in a bit all right let's go buddy It's the first fight I've won since primary school. Ooh. Actually, I think it's the first fight. I've... <laughs> the first I mean, fight I've won since school. primary school. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. um, um, um uh, not a bad idea. I'm fine for this the moment, just because there's nothing else in here that's gonna kill me. So, but uh, that's the guy I carried first. Hey Diva, how are you? All right, we're gonna search all of these. Good to have, good to have. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do you want me to do these ones? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, it's the button. That's how we get out. Nice. Alright. <sighs> I'm near death, but I can still jump up. Oh, so this is uh, one of the many secret uh, little tunnel things that you find if you've played this game enough. So it's got, you know, scribbles all over it and looks vaguely psychotic. So that's one of the rooms. I'm trying to remember, is there anything over here? Oh yeah, there's one thing. A carrot, which is actually not spoiled and uh, pretty, pretty good to have. So, that's a rotten carrot, but we'll take it anyway. Yes, okay, good. That is what I needed. Okay, we are good. Oh. It's funny that he's like a super tall guy, but he can squish himself small enough to get in there. I always thought that was hilarious. Uh, but let me heal myself after. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have the recipe for a decent bandage yet, but that's okay. Um, doesn't always work that way, so. <laughs> Let's see here, what is this one? Oh yeah, this is one of the diaries of, um, of the guys, the two, the two guys were in, who were in here. So the guy who's dead over there, and the guy who was in here who was crazy, they basically were having, like, a fight. 
uh, and it was too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to. Just it was yet. a whole thing. It was a whole thing. And this is how we get out. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Yeah, they can't remember where anything is. They don't know how to do pretty much anything anymore. It is rough. So the longer we're off our joy, which obviously we stay off of, um, berries. They grow all over the garden district, don't the more they? More we remember. I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. <laughs> I always wonder what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. Uh, they burnt up if you put fire into a mailbox. That's kind of just how it works. <laughs> mm. I think I got everything from... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I got everything from this little area. <sighs> yeah. So let me see if I can craft more of these. Yeah. There we go. I can't use it. They won't let me use it. This is one of the uh, pieces of propaganda that, uh, as you can see, people didn't like so much. Um, this game exists in an alternate reality where instead of the United States uh, helping with, you know, Germany being crazy. Uh, I am coming for you, Puss. Back in the day. I haven't got it all figured out, but I um, will find you. They just, I guess, minded their business and just, like, didn't come over here. Uh, so, basically, England and other countries, too, um, got pretty fucked over. So, it's pretty rough, it is pretty bleak, but it is very interesting the way they've done A rose of Gilead! Maybe I can make thing. some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Yes, let me make the ointment. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. Now at least the screen isn't red anymore. Okay. So there's a lot of... Um, a lot of abandoned houses. Like... Um, like Prudence's note said. Lots of abandoned houses and... You know, all sorts of things like that. But you can search pretty much anything, to be honest. Stop crying. It's so fucked. Alright, so we're taking that. We're taking uh, this. And this. Well, I hope this doesn't give me food poisoning. You're not gonna eat it, buddy. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> A crib. was the last time there was a baby in Wellington, Wales? Like 20-something years ago, I think, is pretty accurate. Weapons will break after repeated use. Yep, they sure will. That was so fucking creepy. Still creepy, but less creepy. Um... What's on those beds? Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. Yep, your joy helps you, uh, forget things. 
and one of the things they would like to forget, understandably, is the war. Is there an adorable wolf here? Locked. Who is that? Aha, uh -huh. but I remember how who to make that? a lock pick. You'll have to tell me who they are. I'm very curious. Very, very curious. Okay, so we are gonna go this way. Me? Oh, yay. I love that. That's my favorite. That is my absolute favorite. Thank you very much. All right, we are going over here. Everything, as you can see, obviously is just deserted, not maintained. You know, that's what would happen if no one was uh, keeping up with things. Sense. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? Oh, <laughs> you're a brave one, aren't you? No, I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die, then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back for me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny, they thought it was. No, and you'll need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd can store most of those, too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. There you well, go. Off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Joey. I appreciate that. You're being very kind. All right, so we need the power cell to activate that. Uh, we need the key card to activate that. We are stealing the money from this because it is useful. And I will show you why in a second. Uh, I need to make another lockpick. Mm. Oh, I need more bobby pins. Mm. I will have to find some, and when I come back... I know you under a different name. Why does everyone do this to me? Why is no one consistent with their names? Ugh. Okay, if I know you under a different name, what is the other name? Because, uh, you know, I, I can't read minds, so... I don't need to hit anybody right now, so I'm not gonna keep that out. It makes people mad at you. Makes people very mad at you when you, uh do that. Okay. Oh, God. That smells awful in there. It does. I will take this teacup and this teacup. Thank you so much. A lovely rotten potato. All of these things. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might no. throw up. No, we're not going to eat it. That's a bad idea. We are not going to eat it. There we go. That's what we needed. Well, that's a convenient story, isn't it? The Germans rounded up the kids at gunpoint, did they? So much better than what we actually did, isn't it? Yeah, I would.
would not have guessed that that was you. They're, you know, very different names. <laughs> very, very different names. So as you can see, out here they're off their joy. They can remember everything that happened. So that's uh, horrible. this right now and okay we're getting all of our different materials that we find <laughs> it's okay you don't have to as long as people don't get like upset when I don't recognize them by a name that uh isn't their normal name. As long as you're not mad, that's okay. Uh, so, gonna, gonna give a, um, yeah, trigger warning right here. There is a little, little bit of, um, some people who hung themselves, uh, not super uncommon for this game, because, um, it's pretty oh, bleak, like what I said. A bit risky. Look so, like the Goldilocks. I'm just gonna go over there now, but I said it. Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. I don't know that that's romantic. Um, oh, I'm really sorry, bro. Really sorry to search your dead body. Also, really sorry to search your dead body. Okay. Ooh, just gonna leave you there. Not my business. I will call you whichever you prefer. It is up to you. I'm not really picky with stuff like that. I know some people are, but I just am not. I'll call you whatever makes you happiest. There's these um, broken down, obviously like super rusted out VW Beetles all over the game and I love them. I love those cars in real life, but yeah, I like them here too, so. Heaven's yep. alive. It's a bloody fortress. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, we're going up here if possible. I'm trying to remember how to do this. How do I get up here? Oh, here we go. There we go. I think that's all. That may be all for now. So our uh, goal is to. I'm pretty well buttoned up. <laughs> I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood, or find a cleverer way in. A cleverer way in, yes. We gotta find a way into the head boy camp. So they have these uh, head boy fights. I'll go with Celeste then. I know you as Celeste, so that works for me. All right. Let's find our way in. Here we are. This game is um, randomly generated, so the exact map that I have, the exact resources that I have, are not what other people are going to have. So, I mean, it's similar enough, but it's not the exact same, so. I drank some water. Thank you for the reminder. I am trespassing. <laughs> That's fair. Sally would have loved this if I could never get in here. So this is uh, one of the abandoned war bunkers. As you can see, uh, not the British war bunker. 
but they uh, they kept it behind. I guess I have to take that elevator. Yeah, we do. I hope no one notices. Thank you. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First. Put your things in that box. It will leave you there to starve. It's rough. <laughs> it's a little rough. <sighs> okay, wait a second. Um, make all these right now. Uh, so that I can be as healed up as is possible. I don't think I have any... I don't have any water, but at least this way I'm as, uh... I'm as healed as I can be. Wings for the moment of truth. For it is upon you. Oh, man. Effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? Yeah, I actually don't care about killing good old Danny because uh, if if I don't pick that one, I could be misremembering, but I believe he picks the the bad one anyway. So. And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Well, I appreciate that, Celeste. Thank hey, you. Some guy. I got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come with strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Fuck! 
Try shoving him. He'll drop his guard. Yo! Oh, it's rough. It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. It's not personal. Rough, bro. He's you dead. Bet, I didn't knock him out. He's Now's dead. Now's your chance to have a double war quiz. Rough. Now I gotta like, I gotta kill these two ladies. Girl, yeah. Take it real easy on us. We're poor, helpless girls. I mean, they they die way easier, but. Bandit. Get back here. Thank you, man. That's the looking down my blocks in nursery. <laughs> it's always so funny when he says stuff like that. Because, like, he doesn't know these ladies. It's been a real pleasure having you over. Okay. I got all the stuff. Got all the things, all the stuff. All right. Hi, Kitsu, how are you? Hi. Let's all wish him well on his journey. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, God, this shot. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. That's the elevator, and now we're down here. <laughs> Ooh, it's rough. Okay, again, trigger warning. Just gonna. There's a lot of dead bodies in this game. Just so you know. <laughs> a lot of dead bodies. Not a lot of uh, respect for dead bodies. So just so y'all know. <laughs> Don't want to freak anybody out too much. <laughs> uh, you are very dead, ma'am. Falling asleep is like the best option ever. So I am always psyched when someone's like, oh man, I'm so sorry. I fell asleep. I'm just like, thank God. Good for you, bro. I'm happy for you. Alright. I think that is all the things, all the bodies. Nothing under there. Yeah. Oh, it's this one. Wait, is it this one? Yes? No. I'm trying to remember. Hold on. Is it up here? No. Is it up here? And it has been a minute since I have played this. Hold on. Let me remember where it is. Could have sworn. I could have sworn it was this. There we go. Okay. You just have to come at it from like exactly the right angle. I need these things. Give me the some stuff. sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. You I can. need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelene dispenser. That yes. chap with the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. Motelene is what they fill the battery cells with, or the power cells with, um, just for context. Completing quests throughout Wellington Wells will give you skill points. So, yeah, you can like make yourself more buffed up basically by buying the skill points. Uh, lots of different options so but we'll go through those uh, right now i have one skill point so they want me to specifically purchase the sweet dreams skill point um which is uh, ba -da -ba -ba. not that one yep sweet dreams so basically uh quietly choke people unconscious from behind smother them unconscious in their beds yay <laughs> I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet, like. I definitely don't want a crowd. And I think him out. Struggle. He's just unconscious, though. I didn't kill him. So, like, that's nice. I can kill him, but I didn't. And I usually try not to. Uh. Oh, fuck, I don't have a container. But, this is clean water. Not all the water is clean, though. So this happens to be clean water. Anytime you come across clean water, you definitely want to take a sip. Uh, but when you're in certain areas, it's uh, dosed with joy. 
so you get a uh, high just off of the water. Uh, yep, the sneaking tutorial part, so it just tells you how to do that. Nothing too crazy. Off you. <laughs> I could have strangled him from behind, but it's like not as funny that way. Oh man. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. It makes you do this. There we go. Oh, please just slide down. Really is all about the angles, man. There you go. <laughs> the way that they let you throw bodies in this game is hilarious um genuinely funny like it's great anything on here no anything on here no anything over here no eventually you need a lot of stuff so <laughs> it's uh, always worth it to look Good, we're not taking a nap. We're not doing that. That's a stupid idea. We could do it, but we're not gonna. You can hide under the beds, though, which is actually useful. Um, yeah, they have TV, which is crazy. Gather in front of the telly. And if you're inside, be sure to go and find a telly outside. This game is much more fun to play in a crowd. Today, like, uh, we're going to be playing Simon Says. This is like state-sponsored propaganda to, like, keep people happy. It's, uh kind of fucked. Let me grab that stuff. Search the empty fridge. The fridge is always empty, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like the fridge is always empty. Any of this stuff? No. 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 Okay, I'm taking these. So you can throw these to, um, to like distract them basically, uh, and then you can like be more sneaky, uh, which is obviously helpful. Get all the bottles. Thank you, Celeste. I appreciate that. Where are you? You're over there. want that one. You're not the bloody hell, are you? So get out! Oh, fuck. Don't think I won't sneak you out! Will it let me keep going? Oh, fuck. It might let me keep going anyway. Do we really have to do this? always says stuff like that after he has killed everybody. It's pretty funny, honestly. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm bad at sneaking around in games, so uh, I don't do that. But, it is a mechanic you can use. i rather just brute force, but that's me. Take all your stuff. Thank you. Um, 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 um. I think that is most of it. Take that. Take that. Take that. There we Take go. Like motiline, pure resublimated dimotiline. The fuel of the future now. <laughs> 
That is, uh, that is the phrase they use, yep. Can I climb up here? I forget. Yeah, I can. That way I can be up here if I want to. I can get over here. And you can go back here. And here we go. Very reminiscent of, uh, says, the, um, oh, here it is. Well, I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and Very give me the card like the radio the bridge. Back in the day. It's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, head boy stuff, yep. Alright, uh, that should be it. I believe... I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So we're good. Did I grab the stuff from you? I did. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. Give me back my well, shit. I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. It is. We've got all our stuff, and we've got the stuff we need. So now we're going. We're free! Just kidding, we're not free yet. This happens a lot. We think we're free, but we're not free. Uh, so we need to be sneaky. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. Thankfully, we really can disappear into these bushes. All right, let's see here. Where are the guys this time? Where are you guys? do this one first. Sorry, guys. It's nothing personal. You can't go to the bathroom. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is there anything here I can steal? Can I steal you're anything? I know you're here. Oh, fuck. I should have been crouching, but I didn't. That's fine. Where are you? Okay, you're dead. Good, 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 good. There we go. All right, we good? We good? We good? Can't we work something out? Nah, we don't need to work anything no. out. We good. No need to work anything out. We're a beast. It's not needed. <laughs> the first time I played this game, I tried to be so amicable. I tried to be so cooperative and, like, not have to fight people if I could help it. Uh, it did not work. <laughs> it did not work, to be honest. Lots of good supplies. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, there's a bottle. I'll take it. It's worth grabbing, like, everything that you can, um, because you have the pneumatic stash, like I said, um, so that way you have whatever you, you know, could possibly use, and it's just, you know, in storage, basically. Did I take your stuff? I don't remember. Nope. But now I did. That's everything. So we're good. Oh, it's blocked. That's right. Uh, I remember. Is it that way? No. Is it... Oh, no, it's not that way. How do we get out? I'm trying to remember. Is it over here? Someone have a key? I forget. No, 
you can DM me on Twitter if you'd like. Um, I always suggest, like you're doing right now, uh, telling me if you're going to DM me on Twitter. Um, just because, or at least if we like don't talk already a lot on there. Um, just because Twitter, uh, I have the spam filter on, and it catches a lot <laughs> of stuff that it's not supposed to, but it's kind of the only way to protect yourself on there sometimes, so it's, uh, necessary, but yeah. But, um, yeah, that's totally fine. I'll look out for it when, um, when I'm done with stream. Hey, Leon, how are you? There we go. Now it lets me. I will admit, as much as I may love this game, it's glitchy. It is. I can admit that. But usually the glitches are something really small, so it's not anything that you have to, like, pull your hair out over or whatever. It's not that bad. So. Not bad, not bad. strange how everyone looks the same. I wonder if that's just a side effect that's stuck. Mm -hmm. It is. So I always try to go around and get as many of these flowers and berries and stuff like that as I can because they are <sighs> so useful. I did have a good New Year. Thank you for asking. Hopefully you did as well. Oh, yep, give me this teacup. Give me all this stuff. Ooh, I... My brain is not working right now. Uh, in the game, not in real life. Uh, so you can see, like, the, um... I don't know what you'd call it, like... I'm trying to think of... What you would call it. It's basically like, um... Like, it, it looks like there's, like, a little bit of, like, a, like, an echo of the image of your hand when you go to grab things. Uh, usually that means, like, either that you're thirsty, or that you're hungry, or that you're tired, or whatever. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can fix those things, obviously, so that's useful. Um, well, let's see what we have in here. I think this is one of the ones I already went in, so we should be good. But let me give that guy his medals. The war guy. Because the maps are never exactly the same, um, it is one of those things where you always have to like, like every time you play, you have to re-find your way around. Oh no, you poor lady. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick up this rock. Yes, we remember, you don't have to bloody remind us. The present is awful enough as it is. So, this lady probably- Can I just borrow this? She didn't even have anything, okay. People get real mad if you uh, if they see you uh it occurs to me that you know, the locals may bodies. not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's yeah. try not to get killed, shall we? Oh no. Oh, here we go. Uh hello? Anyone out there? Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here, over here. Do you want to get thrashed? Come in. Come in. God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return, you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous. <laughs> your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. 
-hmm. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I haven't been down this so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. Yeah. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. <laughs> now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! <laughs> Cheerio! Uh, hi Connor, how are you? As you can hear, those people outside are, uh, unhappy. Unhappy with us, which is, uh, understandable. I get it. I get it. So, anywhere you go into, always smart to look for, um, supplies and just, you know, stuff like that. I believe... Yeah. It hurts your health, but, like, not a lot. Sometimes it's just faster, so it's like not a big deal. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I don't think there's a ton in here, though. Uh, she can't see me from over here. Ma'am? She's crazy. She talks to herself and for some reason she wants socks. She's a very odd duck. The mark of Cain was to protect him. People forget that. She, she's an odd duck. And I still don't know why she wants socks. I've played this game, I don't even know how many times. And I don't know why she wants socks. I still don't know. Uh, are there any recipes here? Rock. Uh, no, we're good. I don't want all those rocks. I'm good. I don't really need to talk to you. Oh, this is the guy. I got your medals. It's all falling apart. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. Mine's the side effect. At least the time those days. In 42, we threw them back into sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. Ready to cross the bridge? Where does the fog come from? The answer to everything, I bet. And another memory. I lied for you today at 4.15. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought... But you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble because I'm slow. You Poor didn't Percy. have to do that. She told me not to do it again. So I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. Aww. The brothers. Back before, you know, the stuff. Uh, I believe... I'm just gonna... N no big deal. I'm just gonna be in here, uh... Not stealing things and. Because I wouldn't do that. Because that's, uh. That's rude. And I wouldn't do that. 
a safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> One time I played this game and they noticed that I uh, took the stuff from the safe and I was just like, fuck. Now what do I do? It was like this whole thing. Did not work out super well. Oh, wait. Oh, Aaron, what? No moving forward? What the fuck? No moving forward? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I'll go backwards then. <laughs> I didn't see that. Sorry, Aaron. Have I taken my joy? I haven't. I have not. I've not taken any joy yet. Actually, I don't have any joy right now, so I can't. Um... All right, I gotta create my torn suit. Goodbye, nice suit. I don't think my suit is decent anymore. She's a I can wear it around the garden district, backwards. but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Backwards, backwards, backwards. backwards. She's just talking to herself. She's lost her marbles. Okay, I'm going backwards. Going backwards. Actually, hold on. Let me go backwards over here. No, there's nothing on the table. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. Yep. Now they don't care because I have a crappy suit. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I would consider myself joy, but I do appreciate that a lot. <laughs> um Oh my god, Aaron, there is no way you are singing uh Sunday school stuff right now. There's just not. There's just not, it's not possible. Odd how the fog only comes at night. Okay, so gotta, I'm moving like sideways, sideways, backways. I know how you feel. At least you can drink from the pumps here. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, the water here is not spiked with, um, with joy. So there you go. <laughs> it's a good one, it's a good one. Even if you just randomly thought of it, it's a good one. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? I try not to talk about the... But sometimes I can't help it. Uh, the NPCs in this are not all entirely unique, so once you've talked to a certain number of them, you've talked to them all. Um, okay, there's a guy crying over there. I don't know how long it's been, Aaron, so I'll, I'll do this for like a little bit longer. I don't know how long it's been. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. You'd be amazed what people throw into the bins. I would be amazed. You're right. Mm, no, I don't want to take you down. That's rude. Uh, we'll go all the way over here. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Man, good thing this is a game I know so well. <laughs> Moving sideways. Does it let me go any further back? Is there anything over here? No. No, and I can't go down that way. I know that. Oh, wait. I don't think that does anything. I've done it in the past, and I don't think it does anything, like, ever. It's just fun. Alright. I will do it till we get out of this little area right here. Then after that, we will start going forward again. Luckily, the scenery is really cool looking, regardless of which direction you're walking. But, um... Forward is easiest, for sure. <laughs> oh, sir, you're crying. It's fine. I mean, it's not really fine. It's actually horrible. But, you know, it's it's okay. They never told me what that Be specialist okay. said. The one in London, when they took him to see him. He's talking about Percy, his brother. 
They say he's slow, but like, I think, I don't think I know, uh, back in like the 60s or the 40s or whatever, um, obviously they didn't have all the language that we have a now. A pump. Nice. So, There's a few more in the garden district, aren't there? This is more clean water. This is what we want. That's fair, Aaron. That's very fair. So we drink whenever we can. And now we have a canteen, so we fill it up. This ought to be pretty clean. Unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Mm-hmm. That's right. Hello, ma'am. How, how, how you doing? It's gonna rob you. Really chill. Not a big deal. Don't freak out. Alright, now we've got two canteens of pure water. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, oh. We will get more plants and stuff like that at another time. But, for right now, I'm trying to remember if there is. Hmm. 10.14 p.m. We should actually try to uh, sleep a bit because it is better to do things during the day because then people don't try to kill you, which is like preferable, you know? Oh, I can do this though. This is actually good to get. Some of the flowers you can only get at night. Luckily they glow like a fucking highlighter, so that's nice. That's definitely nice. Hydrate or dehydrate? Oh my god. I mean, I don't want to die. So, so, so I guess I'll hydrate? Oh my god. Aaron's just out here threatening me. Very mean. Very mean. Okay, I'll get a couple more of these and then, um... Then I will go sleep in the church, uh, if that's the only bed that I find easily anyway. I think that might be the closest bed. Might be. Oh. Maybe the closest one. I think. Unless this one has a bed. It might. Crib. Is this the one with the. Uh, this is a different one. There's a lot of these houses that are abandoned that, like, look very similar. So sometimes you lose track the of what you're doing. Funny. Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. Listen, Aaron, whatever you say, buddy, whatever you say. Sometimes these uh, chests have, like, such useful stuff in them, and sometimes it is just the stupidest shit. So, you never really know. <laughs> there. Oh, here we go. Yeah. We got all this stuff, all this stuff. Thank you. Yep, okay, so, oh, there's more stuff here now? That's super weird, I picked this up last time, but that's fine. I will take the more stuff, that is completely okay with me. Okay, but is there a bed? I don't think there's a spare bed. Bed. I don't think there is. Okay. Mm. I will say the passage of time in this game is kind of weird. Like I don't remember exactly what the one to one, uh, or what the ratio is. Like I know it's not one minute to one minute in the game. So. Go 
this way. Ooh, yay. More flowers. Anywhere that there's a bed, it's nice that you don't have to find, like, a specific bed for yourself. Um, it really can just be literally any bed. They are not picky. Which I appreciate. But we also have... This is an option. Oh yeah, I forgot this dead lady's here. I always move her. Because I feel like it's weird. She's just like... Dead right next to where we like hang out so I just you know toss her body casually it's completely fine not a big deal uh don't you know <laughs> it's fine it's not a big deal it's completely fine she's she's doing good um okay so we want it to be yeah 843 is well we'll do 743 sleep the poor man's dinner <laughs> yeah the, the dead people are uh it's rough like I said not exactly treated with the most reverence, uh, but that's fine. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do... We're gonna move all of the crafting items, because we just don't need them. Um, and... Move a couple of these. I don't need these. Don't need these. New. No. that move that these things are like useful to keep just in case you end up needing them later but you definitely don't need to carry them around like that's not necessary at all not at all luckily I think that is it <laughs> what are the dead people gonna do complain about it no that's completely fair and that is completely fair oh. And no, no, they won't, I don't think, so we're good. Alright. During the day, it's just so much easier to see things, and it's just better, so. If it starts getting too late, I usually, um, uh, I usually will just wait it out. Oh, wait. You too. Thank you. Any other flowers? I don't see any right now. So one thing we are going to check, and this is um, the vending machine is, I assume that they took this, uh, not entirely, but like a little bit from uh, Bioshock, uh, because the system is relatively similar. Um, definitely not the same, but similar must have enough. must been rough on my mum. You don't sign up to have a kid like Percy. Let's see here. So, it's got all these things that you can buy. Super useful. Uh, right now we have uh, bu 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 27 uh, Sovereign um, to spend. We don't need any of this stuff right now. Um, so, I'm not going to get like a ton of it. What I will get is... Uh, bu 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 bu, where is it? We want... I'm going to do... Um, one of the of those. We want one of these. This will be very helpful. It will be very helpful. It's good to have. Very good to have. Oh, actually, before I do that, uh, this one. I didn't have a lockpick last time I was here. No, that's a fair point, Aaron. They don't exactly ask to speak to the manager if you throw them. Oh yeah, this is a. Uh, some more propaganda. Alright. Again, I Bloody will... Bloody hell, I've forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking yep. my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I will say it again, like hell when one it more me time. Out. Uh, trigger warning. Oh you dear. will see people who have been uh, hung at one some point. One bridge down. 
And I'm off to the train station. Just, just warning you, just telling you. No one can say that I didn't warn them. Okay. Okay. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. Oh. And puking, sorry. No. Sorry. I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. <laughs> oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. Yeah, At least I can exactly get on the train tracks then and really. get the hell out of town. No, I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. Uh, you can see the train station from a distance. It is huge. Which is good. Yeah, propaganda, like old propaganda posters and stuff like that, it definitely does look cool. Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. But he tore out his eyes anyway, didn't he? Ma'am? So they, they won't get mad at you if you search the... Um, what's it called the uh garbage cans and stuff like that or if they if you search the um the um like post uh boxes or you know stuff like that they just get mad if you're searching uh if you're searching corpses they get a little testy if you do that which you know to be fair i get it i do understand important to get these things you do not get a chance to get these later on um i mean you can but you have to like come back out here and get them um so i always make sure to get the the bunches of them when i get the chance because they grow in in groups sometimes um also this part i just find like actually really relaxing just saying how are you doing, chat, by the way? How are you doing? Oh, I need these. You can eat these berries. They don't give you, like, a ton of stamina, but it's not bad, honestly. You don't need a ton of stamina for most of this game. For a lot of it, you're just being sneaky. So. Even if you do... Like stuff like I do, which is where you just like kind of brute force your way through it. Um, you're still like to a large degree being sneaky. It is nice to eat berries. You're correct, Mouse. You are 100% right. Alright, we are going this way. Stop the movie! Oh god, please stop it! Oh, honey, there's no movie. But they didn't have to, did they? Oh. See, now I'm hungry. Now I'm hungry, guys. So, yeah, you can eat these. Uh, <laughs> they're not terribly filling, though. So it doesn't last, like, a super long time. But it's good enough. This game isn't super strict on that kind of thing. So it's not, like, a huge deal. Um. So long as it's not the wrong berries. That's a perfectly valid good point. Yes. <clears throat> oh, are these... Is this... And here we are. Not quite as grand as it oh, used to be. That's not a... Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge, and then across the river. And then all over Britain. They sure do. I wonder if Prue made it this far. 
I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the Garden District at all. She could have just popped over the bridge from the station at Apple Hall. Uh, so, as you can see, you can get in this way, but you can't really get in this way. I'm gonna just go over here so I don't get stung by all these bees. Just try not to get stung by bees. No, thank you. They're not terribly useful uh, to me, anyway, so not worth it. This way that's the way in? I'm trying to remember. I haven't done this for a bit. Oh, that's right, it's over here. Here we go. What are we gonna do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your board bags, I'll piss in your corpses! <laughs> We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! <laughs> You're done hoarding all the bee meat! That guy is dead. That guy is very dead. <laughs> So we're concealed, which is great. Uh, we're gonna go over here, though. We're just sneaky, sneaky, Jesus sneaking. Jesus Christ! I haven't been in here since. Yeah, let's not. Do that. Sneaky, oh, sneaky, sneaking. Oh, look, it's, not, it's not you. It's me. Just made them take the kids instead of us bringing them here, singing London Black and Bridge. So you shut the fuck up. We're here for food, not nostalgia. <laughs> yeah, it's um I don't know what all of the insults mean. I won't even pretend that I do, but they sound fucking hilarious. Like absolutely so funny. Oh, 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 oh. Am I good? I'm good. So, um once you <laughs> once you go out there and start fighting, uh you are you are in it. So I'm going to just heal up right now. It works. Of course it works. Silly goose. Um, let's drink some water. And let's... Actually, that should be good. We should be good. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. Go that way. Don't look at me. <laughs> We're not a bloody bed and breakfast. Mm. Uh. Come out here. Go back to where you came from. This isn't Harry. It never was. Much easier if you come out here. You come out here. You come to me. Oh, jeez. Nope, that's it's not gonna work. Time. It's time. To what? To do it? Yeah, fuck off. What have we come to? <laughs> what have we come to? Oh my god. Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um. Urban Dictionary says that. <laughs> you reeky scunner literally means go suck a dick, you smelly lowlife. I don't know if that's what that actually means, 
but I'm going to say it is because it's hilarious. So I, I'm on board. I like it. I like it. Um, hi, good. How are you? Okay. So we are good. We killed all these dudes. So that's great. Good for us. We can now get all the stuff we need, which is great because we need a lot of stuff. Broke your foot. Jeez. Sorry to hear that. I've never broken a bone, but like, to be fair, I'm also not like a super <laughs> adventurous jump off of stuff kind of person. So that's uh, not really, I'm more into computers. <laughs> Give me, give me this bottle. Okay, we'll take that, yes. Oh, you tripped at work? I'm sorry to hear that. That is rough, that is rough. I don't think I've ever, like, broken a bone, like, or well, I've, I've never, I've, I've never broken a bone, but I've never like hurt myself tripping at work. But one time when I was nice working see you. on um, a bunch of laptops, I dropped an entire stack on my foot and it did hurt for like a bit. Just, you know, pro tip from me to you. Don't drop like 12 laptops on your foot. It hurts. Would not recommend. Zero out of 10. Is there anything under here? Yes, there is. Glass bottles. They really think that you're going to be using glass bottles every five seconds in this game, and I think that is so funny, because I've maybe used, like, five? Maybe? I just don't use them. Uh, when I play this game on my own, usually I do pick up the corpses and put them someplace else, so that if I have to come back through here, I don't have to just see them laying around because it's gross. Raid? Raid from, from who? Hello. I didn't, I don't see, oh, here we go. Oh, hi Crow Dolly, how are you? Thank you so much for the raid, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We are playing We Happy Few. Uh, first, uh, recorded playthrough. One of my favorite games, so I've played it many times. How did your stream go? What did you play? Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Anything over here I can take? No. No. Mm, no. Here we go. Definitely stuff I can take over here. Venting, drinking, and Fortnite. Nice, nice. Um, let's see here. Oh, I will take the scotch. The amount of alcohol I get in this game is actually hilarious, considering that uh, in real life I usually don't bother drinking, but that's just me personally. My stream is going well, thank you for asking. I am playing one of my favorite games, recording it for the first time, so I am having a great evening. I don't even know why I'm trying to Hi. crouch. You don't live here! Uh, yeah, I uh, can. Yeah. Right in the face, right in the face. Oh, and I have another one. Right in the face. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, gosh. Th there is a way to play this so that you're civilized and not crazy. But uh, I'm just not doing that. <laughs> oh, bye, Celeste. Enjoy your lurking. Feel free. Uh, nothing over here. How many times have I finished this game? Probably... Well, so the main game as Arthur, I've finished at least twice. Um, started it way more than that. Um, and I've done all the DLC for the game as well, uh, at least once. Um, I did We All Fall Down um, two or three times, probably, just because it's so good. I just love that part. 
so. Oh, here we go. Um, 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 um. I'm trying to remember how I get over there. Do I go this way? I'm trying to remember. But I have a bad memory. <laughs> um, I can't. I don't go up here. Do I go up here? Is it this? Is it that? Oh, no, it doesn't let me do it. Nope, because I just fall right down. <sighs> there we go. I don't even need to do that other stuff. Um, I cannot jump up there. How do I... This is, like, not how <gasps> science works, but I just climb up here, and then I can climb up here. Not not really how it works, but that's fine. Yeah, go, go up here. Go up here. Go. Why? Why are you doing this? Fine. Don't go up there. up here in the past I have found some pretty great stuff if you're willing to go up in this area there we go I think that might be good for over here do I much about this game outside the minimal playthroughs I've seen when it first came out yeah there's like there was a lot of um hype around this game. I love it. And then we fell. Ooh, ugh, gross dead body. Yuck. Gross oh, yucky dead body. That's how I get down. Right. Huh. Now yep. I just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. Yucky. Okay. I always accidentally crouch every time. <laughs> always happens. Um, well, this game did come out on, um... I'm trying to remember what I played it on. I think I played it on... PlayStation? PS... 4? I think? Don't quote me on that. But I think I played it on 4. Um, played it on a, a console first. That was how I played it the first time. I was so excited about it. I bought it right when it came out because I loved the aesthetic of it so much. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just fantastic. And I loved it back then and I love it now. Uh, it took me a while to finish it the first time, though, just because I just, I don't know, I, I didn't have a lot of time back then, uh, so it took me a bit, but when I did finally finish it, it was well worth it. Such a good story. So. List of names and dates. Okay, so, um, just so we're all on the same page. These boxes have German crosses on them. These are all toys and luggage and stuff like that from the kids. As you can see, they obviously did not send them with the kids when they sent the kids uh, away with the Germans because they knew that the kids would not be needing them. So that is uh, that. Uh, so part storage, this is just like a little uh, Easter egg or whatever you want to call it for the game. Uh, just so you can get kind of like a feel for uh, how people were at that point. Um, we got some notes. Switch replacement, which I need. Um, 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 here we go. I think that's all the notes. Yes, okay. Not all the notes are especially, um, you know, super important. Uh, so where are we in story with? Uh, so we are trying to use the train tracks. Uh, so we're figuring that whole thing out right now. Um, we've seen Ollie 
uh, for like two seconds. We haven't talked to him yet. He doesn't know we exist yet. Um, and that's where we are right now. Uh, and right now I'm playing on my computer. Um, but the first time, like I said, the first time I played through this game, I played it on console. Um, so a big part of this game, obviously, is the story. And part of the story is that part of the, like, ending the war, uh, like, treaty stuff was that the British had to surrender, basically, uh, any of their children over... 12 years old I believe it was uh, to the Germans they had to you know just go away and um, they would uh, they didn't say what they would do with them honestly like they didn't say what they were going to do they didn't say if they were going to be safe or not safe or whatever um, actually I'm trying to remember was it over 12 or under 12 I'm trying to remember I think it was it was over 12 don't quote me on that though but it was either over or under but either way they sent away like half the kids um and so a lot of people like we already saw tried to make it so that no one knew which kids were over 12 so they could lie about it um stuff like that so in this case uh the people in these letters they hid their kid so instead of their kid uh going away with the germans um they instead tried to hide them and that didn't always work out so but uh let's see here yeah so they've hidden their son uh my dear sebastian happy birthday i can hardly believe you're 10 already of course you're such a brave boy that you often seem much older uh, there's a slice of carrot cake in the box. I know it's not your favorite, but we'll have to make do uh, just a little longer. Next year, I hope we'll have a proper birthday cake and candles for you. This war can't last forever. Uh, so that's from his mom. Then uh, this is when they tried to like pretend that they sent him away. Um, so the mom again. Um, you know, what a brave boy you are. Daddy says you got on the train and climbed out the back into the tunnel so this is a kid on his own climbing out the back of a german train and then just hiding in a tunnel uh just like we practiced uh we were so worried when we saw the train pull away what if the windows had been locked uh, it was agony waiting uh, to know if you were safe uh daddy says you're cross with him for not coming earlier but please understand it's too risky except on days when he can inspect the tracks so they only got the chance to do this because the dad worked for the railway um daddy will bring you food every tuesday so once a week uh try to make it last we don't have ration coupons for you anymore but that's all right i need to reduce anyway so you know obviously like she's willing to not eat so that he can eat that's kind of the whole thing there uh and then just encourage my little sol soldier you know, and um, uh, I've asked Daddy to smuggle Aloysius to you, uh, basically a, a teddy bear, um, just something cute. Uh, but then, Sebastian, we are so worried. Uh, Daddy says you weren't in your hidey hole on Tuesday and hadn't eaten your cake. Uh, this is no time to be a picky eater. Where did you go? You know it's risky to go out by yourself. Please be a good boy and don't scare us like that. At least leave us a note so we know you're safe. And then, as far as the story is concerned, they never bring it up again, so it's kind of implied what happened. Um, but, you know, it makes sense. And that, like, it's, they pay a lot of attention to detail. Like, they have a cake here. So that's actually very impressive. But, yeah, so. The story is fucked. The story is super fucked. I just want to turn on the lights. Much better. Ew. Go away. So gross. So gross. Always do be careful. Yep. Always. Do. Oh. Be. Careful. There we go. Um, 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 um. If I'm correct, all the people are taking yeah so all the all the people in 
um, Wellington Wells take joy. They're, that's what the pills are called. They're called joy pills. Um, and it basically makes them strung out enough that they don't remember anything from like 20 ish years ago, which is when all the bad stuff was happening, like actively where like they sent their kids away and stuff like that. Um, and not all the parents were war veterans, definitely not. Um, but you know, everyone had to, everyone suffered because of the war. And so, um, you know, that's just kind of how it was. They were just, uh, all dealing with it, trying to, you know, do the whole stiff upper lip thing and, Unfortunately, they did that so much that it meant they sent their kids away. Pretty fucked. And here's another memory. I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The yes, rule was if a kid have. was a day over 13, 13. what could I do? 13. You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. Oh, that's right. Okay, I just remembered. Okay, so they took all of the little kids, is what it was. They took all the kids under uh, 13. So if you were, like, a teenager already or whatever, they'd let you stay. I don't know why, but they would. Um, and if you were under 13, they took you. So they took all the little, little kids. Um... Yeah, I would think it's better to send out the adults, too, but I don't, I mean, like, I don't know why that's particularly what they did. Maybe because taking uh, little, little kids is more heart-wrenching, maybe? So that could definitely be it. Oh, here we go. There we go. I don't see anything there. You really don't have much for the, uh, the flashlight at first, so I'm trying to use it sparingly for training I would guess it could be any number of things honestly I if they kept them alive ugh, that's bleak if they kept the kids alive I would imagine that it was so that they could integrate them into uh, German society and they would have the least amount of resistance uh, because when you're like under 13 you don't exactly have like a super strong personality already um, or sense of identity so um, but if they weren't keeping them alive I would imagine it was just to make the British as sad as humanly possible that that's my only guess oh there's something in the dark there but that's always been my thinking on it um, I could be wrong but oh that one's jammed that's right we gotta go through here <gasps> Um, but yeah. I would be interested in, uh, hearing the, like, game developers and, like, exactly I what they were thinking. And you are too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! You can't take care of yourself! Ah! 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 It's rough. It's rough. Bloody Bobby. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. I don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. They have propaganda. Germany has sweets. Germany does not have sweets. Making Germany, um, you know, just look really picturesque and nice and not terrifying at all. <laughs> Which makes sense. I mean, obviously, you don't want it to look terrifying. Wait, where was that? Oh, here it is. Uh, as far as we know right now, yes, the Germans did not take our main character because he was, like, one day too old. Um, so him and his brother went to the train station. His brother got taken. He did not get taken. That's where we are as of right now in the story, anyway. Bloody hell. There's been some sort of caving. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, look. Oh, it's a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? 
eat your curds, you way, I bet. <laughs> this little miss Muppet, you Muppet. <laughs> uh, 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 can we pound him now? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's so difficult because it's so dark. Hold on, let me let me heal up so I don't die like immediately. I'll just use two. That's completely fine. They're not oh. coming back. Oh, Who cares if they're not coming back? What? That's not what we're dealing with right now. It's so dark. It's so dark. I can't see anything. You can't hold the flashlight and. Um, swing your weapon, by the way. So, if I could do both, I would. Why? Oh no, the game is glitching. The game is glitching, it's not letting me swing my weapon. That's not good. I might have to do this part over again, because it's not letting me do this. Oh, that's rough. Okay, uh... I'm gonna switch to the shovel just in case it does start working, which I would appreciate. Um, and yeah. Sleep. Ah. There we go. Come Thank to the God. End of our time. Come to the end of your time. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Jesus. Just lie down. Okay, we're good. We're good. Jesus Lord. Um. <laughs> uh, the reason he didn't take even more joy pills at the beginning of the story. He is a newspaper editor. Um, and he um, like he basically sees a story that included him and his brother. Um, and it reminds him of everything that happened. It's like, you know, like he, he got the sense knocked back into him uh, by seeing that. And he just decided he couldn't do it. He had to go save his brother, even if it's been, I think at this point in the story, it's been like 20 plus years, I think. Um, it's been quite a while. It's been a very long time. And nobody, none of the regular people anyway, in Wellington Wells know what happened to the kids. So those kids could all be alive and happy as German citizens now. They could all be um, dead for all they know. They just they just do not know. Where are the other bodies? Please don't tell me they glitched out. Oh no, here we go. Give me your stuff. I will take it even if it's just a rusty shovel. Thank you. Yay! I do not need this anymore. I will open this door. And you're welcome! You're welcome for catching you up. It's a good story, so I never mind. More propaganda. Oh, no, not that. Dark. So what we have been trying to do is get into the old train station so that we could follow the tracks uh, to another part of Wellington Wells. Um, we saw that there's a cave in, obviously. We just had that fight. Uh, so now we are still in the um, train station, we're trying to go up higher, basically. Or, well, not necessarily go up higher, but navigate our way through it now that we know we cannot um, just follow the train tracks, which, you know, in theory, would have worked. It's not a bad idea.
chair. Oh yeah, it's super dark over here, but these are useful. Currently, right now, yes, we are underground. We are under, uh, like, you know how if you go into a train station or like a subway, um, like you have to go down the stairs and then, you know, uh, it's basically like that. So at first we went in on the main level, we fell, unfortunately, uh, and now we are, you know, down where the actual train would depart from, um, if it were still running. But that is for the moment, and we do not stay down here, so that is not much of the story. And here we go. Oh. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie! I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! <laughs> no! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You've gone mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbor, Artie! Always oh, lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a wastrel! Ooh. Ollie, it's Arthur! Well, why didn't you see that before? <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> I love him. He's hilarious. Oh my god, Artie. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No, they had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry. No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back from the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. That's right, Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> He's a little crazy. I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Oh, he's not completely really. mental, yeah. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... But it's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant. There's a warehouse in the old German camp. We could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? <laughs> What do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me, while you go in under the wire? There's uh, a thing I need from their warehouse. If you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. And this isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. <laughs> I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Shall I just show myself out then? <laughs> Ollie? Uh, so... I don't actually know the way out, you know. <laughs> um, Margaret is... That's Margaret. This. From school. This picture. Margaret, what's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it. Uh, so Ollie um, remembers Margaret 
and so he talks to her they're not like married or anything she's a little kid she was one of the little kids who was supposed to go to germany but she ended up going like he just said she went missing um so back then when the kids went missing it was because the parents tried to hide them and so what ollie was saying before was that uh jack uncle jack turned her in to the germans or to the the police or whatever um and so they took her and she died um and that he tried to save her uh he tried to to protect her of course um but he wasn't able to so that's why he feels so guilty and why he is hallucinating i would imagine after all this time so but there's not anything up there i don't believe but i'll check you never know. Oh, here we go. Nice. This time there is hopefully something in here. Eh, I'll take it. Could be worse. There we go. And this is how we get out. Actually, is there anything in this corner I can take? Anything, 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 anything? No, no. And it closes instantly. <laughs> and we are back outside. See? Here we are, back outside. Um, so we are going to go to the Victory Memorial Camp. I personally uh, think that this mission is best done in the dark at night, so uh, it works out very well that it is already 6.30 p.m. So on the way, we just, you know, grab our flowers and our, our berries and the like whenever we find them, and um, we just make our way over there slowly but surely. It's not very far. Most things aren't very far in this game anyway. Oh, here's some. You definitely want to stock up on a healing bomb and stuff like that before you go to the Victory Memorial Camp. <laughs> definitely good to do so. Because like Arthur said, those chaps who run around stabbing people with bayonets, not exactly good for your health, so. I am not in hard mode, this is just normal. I wanted to make sure that I could uh, not have to be too worried when we get into the city part later on. Um, so I could like show people stuff and you know all that, so I just did normal. I have done hard mode on this game, though, before. It is a lot. Curiouser and curiouser. It's not even that the enemies hit too hard. It's just that there's a lot of them. Um, and they're very alert. <laughs> they, uh, y you kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, so it's one of those things where you just have to make sure that when they see you, you're prepared because it's not if it's when they will see you they will chase you you just have to be prepared for it so that's basically what we're doing until it gets a uh, real dark out which i don't know what time that's at maybe like eight or something it's 7 11 p.m currently so not too bad time is it actually hold on let me check i had to start stream late uh tonight so i just want to make sure i'm not streaming <laughs> till like an insane time of, of night don't want to be a total crazy person right, so we've got enough i think we have enough now that's probably fine let me craft the healing bombs Where is it? 
14 healing bombs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. It is actually, you know what? This is actually a pretty good place to stop because this is a uh, lengthy enough mission uh, that it, it takes a bit. Um, so, and it's one in the morning where I live, so <laughs> it's a little late. Uh, so we'll stop here for now. Um, let me just manually save to make sure. There we go. And uh, we will continue with this playthrough. Um, I, don't know if, I don't know what day we'll do it. Maybe on Wednesday? Maybe Wednesday? That'd be fun. Um, but, or like if I just feel like streaming like tomorrow during the day or something. We'll see. But regardless, it is 1 a.m. here. I don't know what time it is where you are, but hopefully not not as late um let me see if there's anyone that i know who's on right now so i can raid them of course there isn't <laughs> um well so for tonight that'll be it though uh let me let me let me let me i know i'm sorry i know you just got here uh like i said started late tonight so that's kind of just how it is sometimes but um i think i'm probably gonna do this tomorrow uh just because i love this game so much so it's just really fun for me but uh yeah so if you want to see more of it you can come back tomorrow um if you are following hopefully you'll get a notification for when i go live if you're not you can always just check on twitter where i always post when i'm going live so that'll work but yeah so we're good for the night Thank you so much for coming, you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, love you so much. I will be on Twitter until next time I'm live, of course. And yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Good night. Bye.